The Fivetran destination for ClickHouse Cloud was recently announced. And in this video, we're going to see how to use it. So we're going to start in the ClickHouse Cloud UI. So this is the ClickHouse Demos org that I'm a part of. And I'm going to click on Create New Service and create myself a ClickHouse cluster. So I'm going to put it on AWS. I'll put it in the London region. And then I'm going to give a name to the service. And I'll have it under the production purpose. And then let's click Create Service. It'll ask me where I want to connect from. I'm going to let it have access to all IPs for now. And then we'll sort of go through. And then we can see these are the database credentials. So we've got the username as default. If we click on the little I, we can see the password. So let's just get a little copy of that to keep, a, keep it safe. Maybe stick it in the password manager, and then we'll click on Continue. This will then take a few seconds to, to get into the running state. Probably about 30 seconds or so is what I've seen. And so we'll speed that up. And now we've got our cluster ready. Let's now come over to the Fivetran UI. And we start on the connectors page. Well, where we actually want to be is the destinations page. So we're just going to click on there. And then we'll click Add Destination. And we're going to give it a name. Now we need to choose what type of destination it is. So let's type in ClickHouse. And there you go. You see it comes up. Click on that. And now we need to point to tell it where our cluster lives. So starting with the host, so let's come back over to our ClickHouse Cloud UI. We'll click on Connect, get a copy of the host name from there, paste that in. The port's going to be 9440. Now we need to do the username and password. The username, remember, is default. Let's get a copy of the password again, and we'll put that in. And we're going to say that the data processing location is EU. You'll notice on the right hand side, there's a bit of documentation telling you that you should create a five tran user. So definitely uh, do that when you're using it. But for the purpose of this demo, we're just going to go with the default user. Let's click on Save and Test. And it will then try to connect to ClickHouse Cloud. And you can see the connection test has worked and the user grants test has also worked. And if we come through to the next page, we can see our connection details are ready. So what we need to do next is choose a data source to load. So Fivetran has a huge range of connectors. And it's good at importing complex data and sort of saves you a bunch of effort, like writing your own custom code to import data. Now, Zendesk is one of those connectors. So that's probably quite a good choice to go with. So we've set up a dummy organization and populated it with a bunch of tickets. And I now have a serious number of alerts in my inbox. So let's come over to the Fivetran UI again. And this time, we're going to click on connectors. And it's going to say, OK, select your destination first. OK, that's going to be our click our service. So let's click on that. Then we're going to search for Zendesk. There's a few different Zendesks that come up. We want Zendesk support. So let's select that. And then it asks us, what's our domains? We're on ClickHouse help.zendesk.com. So let's put in ClickHouse help in there. It'll then ask, can we allow the Fivetran integration for Zendesk to access your Zendesk account? Let's say, yes, you can. And then we're going to we'll see that it says authentication succeeded. And we can click on Save and test again. It then will run the connection test. And you can see everything is working. So now we're ready to sync the data. But first, let's have a look what we're going to sync. So if we click through to Schema, you can sort of scroll through and see there are loads of different things that we can sync across from Zendesk to ClickHouse. I'm not really that interested in daylight time. So let's take that out. But the rest of them, we'll keep it. And then let's tell it to start the initial sync. Now, this is going to probably take five or six minutes. Obviously, it depends on the amount of data that you've got. So we're going to speed this up a bit until we get to the end and see the sync has been rescheduled message. And it's in the active state. Let's now come back over to the ClickHouse Cloud. You see this monitoring page has been a bit updated. Let's click through on to SQL Console. And then if you look on your table list, you should now have one at the bottom that says Zendesk. So click on there. And you can see there are a whole bunch of tables now available. Probably the most interesting one is Ticket. So let's go down a little bit and find that one. And then if you click on it, you can see all the different fields that it's got and their types as well. I think well, let's do a little query on priority. So I'm just going to click on that one. And then we're going to write a query that counts what's the priority of tickets. And we'll, so we're basically going to count how many of tickets have we got of each priority. And if we run that query, it comes back. See, most tickets are in the normal priority. We have got 94 tickets in the high priority. And then you can see the other ones as well. So hopefully, that's given you a good idea of how to get started with Fivetran and ClickHouse. I'll put a link to the accompanying blog post in the description. And I'll see you in the next one.